When working with data in Microsoft Excel, we sometimes have to display two separate but related subsets of data in a chart. Units sold and number of dollars taken in are a fairly common real-world example. And one way of doing this is to create a dual axis chart. We can start with a typical batch of data such as this set here. To create a chart from the quarterly data would be pretty straightforward. We can select from A1 down to E9, go to the Insert tab, and proceed as normal. But creating something from the total dollar amounts and units sold on the right of that batch is where we might hit a snag. If we select the labels in column A, and then control drag to select the data in columns F and G, we can indeed go to the Insert tab, bring up, let's say, column chart, and go with a 2D clustered column, move the thing over a bit, all well and good. But the two sets of columns represent two different kinds of information, even though they're connected. So what we can do is to visually separate them, even though we need to keep them on the same chart. The good news is, once we create the chart, we can change the chart type. All we have to do now is go to the Chart Design tab, and slide over and click the button for changing the chart type here. The general category we want would be the combo chart down here at the end of the list. We'll give it a click under the All Charts tab. And then we see the key element of the process in the main part of the window over here to the right. And that is, we select one of the two data series to go to what they call the secondary axis. That is, the right side vertical as opposed to the left side vertical. And in the process, we also change the chart type for that data series, as we can also see in the drop-down here. Check the check mark. And now we see that with the money numbers staying represented as columns and the units sold as a line, the chart now shows the two pieces of information, the two sets, on the same chart. We can differentiate them very easily at a glance. We can now OK out of the box down here. One other thing we can do at this point, which is sometimes overlooked, is to change the scale of the numbers on one vertical to march in step, as it were, with the other. In this example, I might right-click over here on the left-hand vertical, and to make the change, I can click the command for Format Axis down here at the bottom. Then, in the task pane or window pane for the format axis, what I want to do is change what they call the maximum bound, the highest number that is represented on the left-hand side of the chart here. If I change that maximum bound to 25,000, which is exactly 10 times as much as on the right side, and then hit my tab key, we can see that the numbers are evened out. The total number of horizontal grid lines has been reduced as well, and the chart is simplified. makes the overall arrangement a little easier to read and understand. It does change the proportions of the chart, but that's a necessary byproduct of the axis adjustment. One can certainly play around with this part of the setup to find a few other versions which might work better with one's own data. There are a number of variations on this idea, but sometimes it is necessary to show separate but related subsets of data together, and the dual-axis chart is one viable solution.